this is the line for the right side judgment for the left side i have to keep every object or vehicle whichever i, I used to overtake it okay i will be keeping it just left side of my middle this is the line going to the exact left corner of your car this is the line going exactly to your left wheel don't just come from one to two like this never okay just keep it like this one release two so right now my car is moving exactly at 19 km page okay it's in gear number two up shifting to gear number three to do that i have to just take the speed to 20 more than 20 speed is 21 you can feel some pressure or tightness in your acceleration okay just i will just release acceleration press down the clutch gear three now release the clutch and acceleration go to the bonnet corner you have to go outside of your car measure the line from there coming inside in my case this is a six speed car okay in my case the first gap is around six inch now my car is moving exactly at fourth gear okay the speed is exactly approximate to 40 38 or 40 okay so i'll be shifting to third gear to downshift from fourth gear to third gear like this you have to just give a little bit of brake to reduce the speed it's at 30 right now raise the clutch release the clutch make sure to release the clutch whenever the speed matches with the gear six inch from middle from the first line six inch it means 1.5 feet outside i'm just trying to keep my middle exactly on the line hey guys welcome all of you so in this video we'll be discussing about how to control your car properly and how to drive it in a very easy way and how to control your steering along with the left side and right side and also the gear shifting and there will be a smooth uh, clutch release and how to shift the gears quickly uh, whenever you are just downshifting or upshifting so watch this video till the end and don't skip this video as this will help you a lot believe me guys this will help you a lot while you are driving your car if you're a new driver you will get much more confidence after watching this video so let's get started and if you find this video useful please do like and subscribe and also i make uh, videos in hindi as well so if you want uh, to see my hindi languages uh, videos so also you can check the description below so let's get started guys once you're inside your vehicle the first step you have to go with the seat adjustment you have to adjust your seat so that you will get enough leg room over here okay then you have to adjust the steering make sure you know the exact position and wheel direction of your car that is the right wheel and the left wheel make sure to keep the steering straight and the wheel straight okay next the first step will be going with the judgment okay and then the gear shifting so first of all you can see over here there are some lines okay there are many lines over here so i will i will be starting with this one okay so this is the line going to the exact left corner of your car the bonnet corner okay and this is the line going exactly to your left wheel okay left wheel means the middle of the left wheel in the upper section okay this is the line for your left wheel and this is the bonnet corner and whichever vehicle or divider will be taking, we have to just keep it left side of this middle of the car okay and this car is exactly six feet it's five feet 11 inch to overtake any vehicle i have to keep that vehicle left side over here okay and once it is over here we can cross it and then we have to just mark some lines on the steering okay so make sure the steering is straight once the steering is straight you have to keep a gap of around two inch by the side of your steering two inch over here and two inch over here just make a gap of two inch and two inch over here so that whenever you are driving the vehicle you know the exact position of your vehicle okay so let's go ahead and watch this video very carefully so once the steering is straight uh, after drawing these lines two inch gap over here one line and over here another line what you have to do you have to just make your steering straight how to make the steering straight guys just start your vehicle okay just take the steering to the extreme right extreme right how much it is tilting okay this much then one turn then next turn now your wheel is straight okay the steering is straight so right now you have to mark some positions imagine this steering as a clock okay so this is a clock this is a 12 position okay so this is three position this is nine whenever my steering is like this i know exactly my wheel is straight and my car direction is straight and these two lines will be helping you to guide you in which direction the car is traveling okay and always compare any vehicle or divider like this with the middle of the car if the object or vehicle or pedestrian if it is right side of the middle of the car we cannot cross it we have to keep it left side by just steering the steering okay like this we have to keep that over here we can cross it but remember guys for any big for any bigger vehicle you have to keep it after this line okay beside this one okay and for any small uh, vehicles like some small cars you can keep it over here for any bikes or any cycles you can keep it over here so basically right now we're discussing about the clutch and gear systems so here is our clutch so while you are pressing the clutch just make sure to press it like this and while you release it just release it very very slowly okay like this like slowly okay and while to change the gears you have to just press the clutch like this full press just hold okay here is a neutral line here is first gear little release this is a neutral second gear release neutral third gear release neutral down fourth gear release neutral fifth gear okay release reverse gear and make sure while you're changing the gears don't stop in between like gear one is over here okay just release little okay gear two like this don't just come from one to two like this never okay just keep it like this one release two like this okay so right now i'm just driving my vehicle you keep a track on the pillars of the car the right pillar 
and the left pillar okay and the middle of the car while we'll be judging it and also we'll be discussing about the upshifting and downshifting of gears so let's get started guys so right now i'll be starting my car okay so to do that just have to press and hold your clutch like this okay just ignite the car and just keep your just this leg on your brake little okay and the gear is neutral put your hand brake down now it's gear fast gear okay so right now if i release the brake and i will just slowly release my clutch like this and the car will just move ahead like this slowly releasing my clutch you can see the car is moving ahead okay like this okay once the car rolls down okay you what have to do guys just give little bit of acceleration little race okay little as much little as you can okay little race when the speed goes beyond 10 you have to just press one more time the clutch then gear 2 release the clutch along with the acceleration make sure to release the clutch along with the acceleration okay you have released the clutch 30 percent then start pressing the acceleration don't press it just touch the acceleration the car will move ahead okay don't ever press the acceleration just touch it okay make sure to adjust the warp beam as well so now my car is going exactly at gear 2 that is uh, approximately 20 speed make sure that you know the exact gear and the uh, rib matching that is uh, the speed of your car and the gear system first gear 10 speed second gear 20 speed third gear 30 speed fourth gear 40 speed fifth gear above 50 speed so this is the default basic okay but we don't follow this basic we stay approximately closer to these speeds and gear systems so right now my car is moving exactly at uh, 19 kmph okay it's in gear number two i'll be upshifting to gear number three to do that i have to just take the speed to 20 more than 20 21 22 so right now my speed is 21 you can feel some pressure or tightness in your uh, acceleration okay just i will just release acceleration press down the clutch gear three now release the clutch and acceleration it's in gear number three and the speed is going above 22 23 okay and i'm just driving in on gear number three so this is the exact process of upshifting okay so it's in gear number three i'll be just taking the speed to more than 30 okay i need to give right now third gear to fourth gear okay fourth gear means 40 you can give fourth gear uh, when the speed is exactly close to 40 35 32 33 anything okay right now the my speed is 30 okay driving at exactly third gear so i will be just taking the speed to 31 32 it's right now it's 32 okay i can i will just press the clutch fourth gear okay release the clutch like this and acceleration a little okay little acceleration with the clutch release so right now my car is moving exactly 35 okay but we can drive at 35 no issues it's in gear number four so right now i'll be giving the fifth gear the last one okay my speed is 40 i'll be taking the speed to 42 or 43 i can put fifth gear okay it's 42 right now 41 42 43 now press the clutch fifth gear just release the clutch like this and acceleration you can see i'm just releasing the clutch and little bit of race okay little bit of race very light press so right now my gear is moving at gear number five so this is the process of how to uh, upshift your gears okay to increase the speed and now we'll be discussing about the downshift for downshifting what you have to do just have to press the little little amount of brake before you were just downshifting so right now my speed my car speed is exactly at 45 i will take it to 45 fifth gear okay i'll be going back to fourth gear so to downshift make sure from the gear you're downshifting like for example from fifth gear to fourth gear like from 50 speed to 40 speed first of all little bit of brake to just lower the speed okay many videos shows that you have to press the clutch to for downshifting but never do that okay just to reduce the speed a little this little bit of brake right now my car is moving at exactly 50 speed okay i have to give it to fourth gear so little brake like this little brake 40 40 40 right now fourth gear i can release the clutch because the speed is matching with the gear is 40 speed and fourth gear okay now my car is moving exactly at fourth gear okay the speed is exactly approximate to 40 38 or 40 okay so i'll be shifting to third gear to downshift from fourth gear to third gear the same okay the same thing like this you have to just give a little bit of brake to reduce the speed it's at 30 right now raise the clutch release the clutch make sure to release the clutch whenever the speed matches with the gear okay you got my point right so right now my car is exactly at 30 i'll be shifting to gear number two so i'm just driving slowly at exactly 30 speed okay i'll be going to two so little bit of brake i've given the indicator because it's a running road okay at gear number two i can give it to gear number two okay because my speed is 20 and my gear is also two it's matching okay so right now i'll be giving to gear number one okay i'll be taking the speed more down more down to 10 the, the speed has been reduced to 10 i can now give it to fast gear okay now it's on the fast gear i will press the brake and we'll just stop by giving the indicator okay so this is the exact process how to downshift and upshift guys okay so right now you can see it's in first gear okay i'll be just give little bit of race little bit of race press the clutch gear number two release the clutch slowly with acceleration again it's on gear number two okay it's very easy guys gear number two i'm taking it to more than 20 or 21 more than 20 little bit of race 
press the clutch gear number three release the clutch slowly 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 like this acceleration okay like this is gear number three okay i'm taking it to more than 30 it's going above 30 press the clutch fourth gear release slowly 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 like this this okay you have to do this fast okay I, I, i'm just showing it to you so i am doing it a little slower okay you have to do it very fast so right now i'll be discussing about the judgment so basically guys the judgment the right side and the left side so this is the line for the right side judgment whichever car is coming in front of me i have to think like this i have to keep that car beh behind this line okay on the right side for the left side i have to keep every object or vehicle whichever i i used to overtake it okay i will be keeping it just left side of my middle that's it simple theory okay if it is a small object keep it over here if it is a big bigger object keep it over here and how much distance is the, this one guys you have to go to the bonnet corner you have to go outside of your car measure the line from there coming inside once you do that guys you can see there is a gap over here from middle to here over here in my case this is a six feet car okay in my case the first gap is around six inch okay and the next one is around four inch so in total it's 10 inch so if i give 10 inch gap from here I, I i can drive easily i can overtake anyone okay any objects if it is a big truck if it is a uh, small car anything no issues my car will just cross it safely without touching my bonnet corner okay make sure to give the exact amount of space by measuring your vehicle so this is the exact process and one more very important thing guys uh, wherever we see our car middle is traveling from there our car left wheel goes for example here you can see there is a white line at the left side okay if i drive my vehicle exactly like this there's a dog died over there okay so over here i will just drive my middle i will just take my middle with the uh, line with, with that line left line okay whenever my middle of my car is coming closer to that line or if it is on the line then exactly my left wheel is crossing is just rolling over that line okay like this that means we see objects closer to right side okay uh, i can see uh, the middle of my car is over there but exactly my left wheel is rolling over that line okay just make sure you just you just know this okay now i'll be discussing about these lines okay so these lines uh, will be very helpful for all of you guys whoever is just uh, learning vehicle right now so you can see there is a line over there and there is a line on the left side okay try to make this practice okay keep the same amount of gap on your right and left don't have to make same gap but yes keep the gap constant if it is one feet over here three feet over there it's okay but keep it same and drive like that okay and that will make you and that will, that will just give you more confidence while you're driving in a narrow space okay so right now whenever I, I will just taking my car this uh, point okay on this line that means my right wheel is traveling on that line okay right now my right wheel is inside that this line okay this inside this one because this point is inside this one for the right side judgment you have to watch this one and for the left side judgment you have to watch this point and also the overview the overview tells us exactly the space between the body line car body this one and the edge of the road always you need to know exact gap of your vehicle with the road edge or any it can be divider it can be any a traffic jam it can be any pedestrian okay you need to know the exact amount of gap and how much gap you are watching on this world vm and exactly how much gap it is you have to know the uh, exactly virtual uh, image space and the exact space in, in the outside and one more very important tip guys whenever i used to keep around six inch over here the gap exactly my outside is around 1.5 feet i repeat six inch from middle from the first line six inch it means 1.5 feet outside okay and if i keep over here 12 inch then the gap in the outside is around uh, three feet okay that means three feet from where from your car body to the uh, exactly it can be any vehicle or divider okay so this is the exact way how to judge and please watch these channels uh, uh, other videos in which i have driven in a two-way road every vehicle is coming like to and fro okay i have drive i've just driven this vehicle on that road please check that video so right now i'll be discussing about the divider judgment on the left side or it can be in a traffic jam or any uh, potholes or manholes okay so while i will be just driving to this side okay i'll be just watching this middle of my car whenever my middle of my car is just coinciding with that line i have to just drive i have to just steer like this okay and also I have to check the overview this should be together okay see over here i'll be just driving like this i'll be taking the middle of my car to this line okay at that exact very moment when it is coming closer to that line i have to see the overview and see the gap how much gap is there on my, on my left side okay and just don't uh, go like this in a one go okay because it can uh, your car bonnet can crash with a divider so it's better just to drive like this what's the overview how much gap it is drive like this like this okay like this you can see over here there's a line over there okay and i'm just trying to keep my middle exactly on the line okay like this see over there my car exact left side is traveling on that line 
So this is the exact measurement, guys. Okay, I know my car bonnet corner will never crash crash with that uh, divider because uh, my left wheel is just rolling over that line. So like this, you have to judge, guys. Okay, this is the exact process. See over here. So right now I have given to fourth gear. My speed is exactly going up to 40. It's exactly at 40. I will just steering left side indicator little slower down. I slow down. Okay, brake. Now gear number three. Just watching my word beam. Okay, left side. No vehicle is coming. I can steer to left side. Now this like this. Okay. Now straight. Okay. Little bit of race. Now press the clutch. Fourth gear. Raising the clutch with acceleration. Okay, like this. So this is the perfect way how you need to drive. And now the steering guys. Uh, just you can see over here. There's a 12 mark over here. Okay. And there are two lines over here. I have marked these lines by giving a two inch gap from my steering like this. Uh, whenever this is straight and this will be matching with this point my car of wheel is exactly straight okay coming to left side because there's a bike in behind like this when it is matching with this point my car wheel is exactly straight i can drive like this and my car is traveling like this these two zone will be telling you in which direction your car is traveling okay exactly these two lines will be telling you ex exactly which direction the car is moving out in the forward okay so like this i'll be driving like this okay it's going this side okay and my wheel is straight my wheel is straight like this i'll be steering little left like this see over here I'm giving space to it okay let it go I will just drive slower okay like this see over here uh, this marks you can see over here right I can see this marks over here but the actual position is on the left side I can see objects closer so whichever object we see from the driver's side we see little uh, closer to the right side okay so this is the exact process so right now my steering is exactly straight I'm just driving like this whenever I will just steer my steering like this this direction is indicating me my car is going in this direction so I have to now steer right now make it straight so this is the steering balancing okay now you see over here guys there's a mud out there okay over here so I can see this mud over here I have to steer it this side okay so what I have to do first of all fast gear okay now releasing my clutch I begin right side whenever this mud area is coming behind this one I can steer left okay right like this no issues gear number two like this now make it straight one more time so right now I'll be going to this side with the divider. I'm just watching this point. It's getting closer to this divider. And now I'll be steering right and watching my gap of my car body with the divider. Okay, so this is the exact process guys. Gear number three. Now just taking some speed, little race. Like this, gear number four. Okay, now I'll be steering to the left side like this. The car in uh, this direction is going this side. Okay, now I have to steer a little, little bit of brake. Steer this one. Like this. See. Just watch this direction, okay guys. This one. The car is moving th in this direction. I have to steer this side, okay. Like this. It's going this, this side to steer this side. Now straight. Now my steering is exactly straight okay if i want to go to the left side i will be steering like this i know exactly my wheel is pointing to this direction and these two lines is indicating to this direction i don't uh, if i go uh, ahead okay the car will be touching with the uh, divider so i have to steer right like this and then again straight okay the car is moving exactly straight ahead like this and the the road over here try to keep this zone on the empty space of the road i repeat just keep this zone on the empty space of the road for example if you find the road uh, is over there and there is no road on the right side okay so i have to keep this zone on the road watch my other videos everything i have shown it out there in detail okay guys make sure to check that so right now i'm driving like this little right straight now it's going straight ahead like this you can see the road is like this okay and this is pointing to this direction so if i go ahead i'll be going like this just crashing with that divider okay so i have to little steer left so you can see it very easily that this zone is helping me or guiding me uh, to which direction my car is traveling so this is very much important draw these lines it will help you a lot while you are driving okay so just i'm driving left side little left steer right straight so this is the way that will control your steering so in this video this much guys uh, there are more videos coming up and please don't forget to check the videos on description below because there are two-way roads driving out there please check those videos okay so meet you on my next video till then take care bye bye safe drive and please uh, do suggest uh, what i need to improve okay please do suggest bye bye take care guys